Hi, my name is Kurt Asplund and this is my studio. Well, in today's drawing tutorial, I'm going to show you step by step how to draw a pumpkin on top of an old wood stump. I think you're going to like it. He has a great happy face. It's going to be a lot of fun. Come on, let's get to drawing. All right, let's uh, go ahead and get started here. The first thing I'm going to draw is the top of my stump. And we're gonna draw that using an oval. And come down on the sides. It's kind of like a cylinder, but a little bit leaning to the right. I'm going to add an old branch that's coming off the side here of my stump. And then at the bottom, I'm going to add roots. Of course, in this, I'm trying to draw lightly. I'll come back over with darker lines when, when we're further along. Okay, for our pumpkin, we're going to do a nice big round circular shape. But we want to start thinking not of shape, but as volume. So this would be a sphere. And while I'm doing this, I'm going to bring in this photo of this older man that I found. And I was inspired by his happy look. Let's go ahead and add our eyes. And we really want to push this more toward the top of our pumpkin. An upside down triangle for the nose and then a super wide oh, smile. Hey, if you're liking this video, make sure you subscribe right now below so I can keep making more. You got this. And the bottom smile, but I'm going to stop short and put a little tooth in it. Let's get our stem at the top here. Now I'm lightly going to draw the lines I, the, that create the sides of the pumpkin. You know, I, I don't know what these are called. If you know what they're called, throw them in the comments so I can learn the squash sides, huh? Okay, this is interesting. In the... Um, tree trunk now, I'm going to add some surface lines and make sure you curve these around. When you're drawing surface lines, it's it's like you're following the trail of an ant as it walks over the surfaces of an object. And of course, this really creates dimension in things. So you can see I'm doing surface lines in the roots, on the main tree itself. Here I'm going in and touching up the bottom of my big old pumpkin. And at this point, I am pretty much have everything in place. The only thing that really remains is the thickness of the eyes, the nose and the mouth in the pumpkin. And you could see that in the example. And other than that, I'm just going over everything, trying to uh, darken in some of my lines, the ones that I like, creating a nice overlap in certain areas. That's when one form overlaps another form. So go ahead and Press pause in the video if you need to get caught up. But um, as you can see that uh, just a few more darker lines and I think we got it. Add some grass on the bottom and some stones maybe, a couple leaves. All right, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed drawing that pumpkin. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.